Hi, welcome to U.S. Metal Podcast, and we're talking to Dennis, Dennis and Phil from Acid Bait from Germany. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, Hi, cool. Phil. Drinking a beer so early. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like a Coca-Cola or something. Oh, oh, what and, the... And and here it's in the evening. They used to give me uh, some some Coca Cola. It wasn't Coca Cola. It was a cola that was really powerful. I can't remember the name. But it's, <laughs> okay. It's, okay. Yeah, I think we are recording. Okay. Cool. Okay. Welcome to U.S. Metal Podcast. We're talking to Acid Bait with Dennis Schneider and Phil. You're a 13 year old drummer, right? Yep. Cool. But uh, I heard your your a couple songs from your what's your new album called? Um, there's no title. It's just an EP, a self titled EP. Acid Bait. Acid Bait. Acid Bait. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of. Uh, Metallica, in a way. Your voice especially sounds a lot like James Hetfield. Yeah, I heard that before, but I can't change it. That's my voice. <laughs> no, don't. It, it works for them. Don't change it. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got well, a lot of reverb. I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, it's, uh, yeah, it's 11.15 here in uh, Portland, Oregon, in, in the United States, and you are in Germany, in Stuttgart. Yeah, close to Stuttgart. Yeah, I speak in kleine Deutsch, <laughs> very little. Man like, versteht dich gut. <laughs> I can I'm, understand you. Oh, good. Yeah, like wo is the Battenzimmer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's the hotel? Or? Hmm. Oh, my my the drummer Robert Brownie. He lives in Leverkusen. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's, just, that's three hours away from here. He just tells me, just talk English. I can understand that better than you'll ever be able to speak German. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Why not? Yeah. But uh, my face got paralyzed uh, with a stroke, so I talk funny now. I, I, always, I talk drunk all the time. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, I, it's yeah, I saved a lot of money. <laughs> okay, I understand. So, how long have you guys been doing this? How long have you been playing drums? Um, uh, four years. Four years since since you were nine. Yeah. How old? When did you start playing? He stopped playing with eight, eight or nine. Yeah, cool. That's a, that's a perfect time. Yeah, you're. A, I I'm impressed by your drumming. I'm also a drummer, in addition to playing guitar and bass and keyboard. But I started off playing drums at age seven. Okay. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. I would play that in the middle of the night and wake my parents up and they'd come up and say, do you know what time it is? No, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, it's the same here. We, we, um, we play in the, in the basement from a house. So it's, a, it's the same. We cannot play so, so late. So we start after school at two or three o'clock. Yeah, basements, I have a basement, and I've had one my entire life, so basements are magic places. I've recorded. Oh, yes. That's 30... the best places in the house. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> at the basement in my mother's house. <laughs> That's where I live. We share <laughs> a house, the house I grew up in. You know, us big, rich rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> I never made any money playing music ever, not even in a cover band. It's the same here. Yeah. It's a big lie, the fantasy. Oh. <laughs> they show you the big cars, the women with no clothes on, and I never had any of that stuff. 
Okay. I would settle for a couple dollars and a woman clothed even. <laughs> so uh, do, do you have a band or do you just, just YouTube recording? I mean, do you play gigs, play shows? Oh, um, um, we start uh, next week to with the, with the first show. We um, haven't play already, but uh, we'll start now. We have two another band members, um, two friends. They play bass guitar and uh, lead guitar, and yeah, then we have four persons in the band. Don't you play guitar? I play guitar, but uh, I need another guitar for the for the as a bait sound. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's easier. I was, it's better, yeah. I, when I started with Wild Dogs, I played guitar, and the singer that was going to sing didn't show up, and so I said, "I'll do it." Okay. <laughs> so I did. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yes, it was it was a good month, band for a couple of years. Wild dogs. Wild dogs. Yes. Okay. Cool. Most people know the the album that I'm not on called Reign of Terror. I'm also Doctor Mastermind. That was my <laughs> solo deal. It's kind mm -hmm. of like Motorhead with Ingve Mountstein on guitar. That sounds interesting. Yes. We are on the same label that discovered Ingve okay. in America. He was going to play, but he couldn't. He wasn't available at the time. He was going to be busy for a year. I love yeah. his playing. I'm getting a message here. What does this say? It says new Zoom meeting. Uh. Nope, I think we're still, we're good. So, we'll just keep going. Okay. So, how long have you two guys been doing this together? Um, how long has Acid Beat been in existence? I think we started two years ago. Um, I play guitar riff and Phil plays some drums. And... Um, Yes, so we started two years ago writing songs, and yeah, that and we need we need a lot of time to finish the songs. Um, yes, but now uh, we are ready with five or five songs on the EP and two more, and uh, yes, in two or three yeah, days we can play live gigs. Ready to take on the world. I like Pantera's bass drum sound, that click. Yeah. And my friend, when he moved to Texas, became friends with Pantera. Okay. <laughs> Those guys yeah, did. A... Go ahead. That, that's a cool band, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing that the music they made, they were high on ecstasy the whole time. Okay. I mean, really. Okay. Did a lot of that stuff, my friend said. I can't imagine playing that kind of music on those drugs. <laughs> They're more of a speed type of band. Yeah, but they they wrote a lot of cool songs. And then uh, a friend of mine was in the uh, Damage Plan. He was a singer for Damage Plan. Okay. Pat. And uh, man, that was I remember seeing that on the news at when they got shot and uh, so I called the news station and said, you know, a guy from our city is a singer. And so the news people came out and interviewed me and, and uh, that's crazy, man. I, I just yeah. can't imagine that's like your worst nightmare. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Standing on stage like a target. That's crazy, but yeah, this but is not, yeah, not only in the, yeah. It, this is America where we're freedom. I'm proud because I can buy a gun and protect myself against the government who has weapons that can totally destroy me. <laughs> it's it's yeah. nuts here. 
<laughs> and Germany, we don't have guns at home. In Germany, yeah, that's... you're much smarter, I have found. <laughs> you actually learn stuff at school. It's not like babysitting for teenagers. Everybody I oh. know in Germany is smarter than anyone I know in America. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and they will tell you that. <laughs> Especially the drummer, Robert Browning. He says, we are more intelligent than you are, <laughs> so stop. <laughs> but there are smart people in the United States. I think they got it. Yeah, but all our good ideas came from Germany. Yes. Jet propulsion, nuclear bombs, yeah, mag perfect. magnetic recording. Okay. That was a, a, a German invention that uh, Hitler used to make it seem like he was all over the country because in America at the time, they recorded on a wire, a piece of wire, and it was horrible okay. sounding. Les Paul had a lot to do with making a magnetic tape and the multi-track recording, and he was just blown away. That's how they made it seem like he was a all over the country in one day when he really wasn't. But, uh, ah, the <laughs> magic of politics. <laughs> okay. But in Germany, we have other problems. It's, it's the same like everywhere yeah. in the world. Oh, yeah. I'm... <laughs> but let's not talk about politics. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about politics. I was talking about magnetic recording tape, <laughs> which yeah. America did not have that okay. at the time. They stole that from Germany. <laughs> oh well and so uh, what studio did you record at um, we recorded here oh you know, drums and the, the guitar amps um, yes uh, so we, we recorded all the stuff in the basement the, like I said the basement is a magic place it's a magic place yeah. That's where the not magic the... happens. <laughs> not in my not bedroom. The... <laughs> yes. Yeah. For the mix and the master, we um, gave the um, the songs to a friend. He has a prof professional record studio, and then he did all the studio stuff. But, uh, yeah. And your took album... I'm going to take it here. Took it here. Your record... Acid Bait comes out on Headbangers Records. That's owned yes. by Marco Van Empel in uh, Holland. Yes. Yeah. I've known him for a while. He's a great guy. Yeah. He found us on, on, on the internet. And yeah, so we were in contact. And then he asked us if you want to do a tape. And yeah, that's cool. You must be a football fan. Yeah. Are you a soccer? Yeah, a soccer fan. Yeah. Well, you call it football. <laughs> yeah, we call it football. Yeah. Yeah, football. Yeah. Yep. In America, that's you know, they put pads on. They have a meeting every five seconds, trying to figure out what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah. And then crash into each other. I played football. I wanted to be a pro football player when I was a child. Okay. But uh, I realized you had to be over 300 pounds to <laughs> do that. And I was only 150. Okay. In fourth grade. But <laughs> I was age 12, age 10. I was, I was a fat kid. Okay. <laughs> I've lost 100 pounds. In fact, my nickname in Wild Dogs was Fat Matt. Fat Matt, okay. Yeah, yeah we play foosball here. That's uh, that's our national sport. Yeah. Let's see. There, and when I went to Germany the first time, the people from Lübeck liked S S nil four. Again? Uh, I think that the team was S nil four. Uh, S S. Okay. Yeah. I'm not Schalke sure. Was here. Yeah. In Lübeck. Okay. That's just down the road from. Uh, the festival headbangers open air. Okay, I, I don't know it. Oh, that was a soccer team. Okay, I but they were 
big soccer fans. One is in Amsterdam in 2002. I stayed with the Hammerhawk guys, and mm -hmm. they said, oh, it's, it's football season. Look out for soccer hooligans. If you see <laughs> somebody with bald head and no teeth, run the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah, but we are not so big fans. So we like to play, but uh, sometimes we go to the stadium. But uh, yeah, not I, really. Often. I'd rather play. I like. I like to play basketball. Yeah, cool. It makes you think. Okay. Just keep doing the shots, and it takes your mind. It lets you. You know, when you're playing sports, it just frees up your mind. It makes it work better. Yes. Yes, and it's fun. Yeah. Cool. So, how do you do the grades? What grade are you in, in school, Bill? Um, seventh. Seventh? That was a fun year for me, seventh grade. That's We do the same. Then you go to gymnasium at what age... 14? Gymnasium is high school, correct? Um, no, it's uh, the, the fifth grade, it's gymnasium. My German teacher lied to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but no, no, no. He, no, it depends <laughs> on, on which part in Germany you live. In every part, we have another school system. So maybe when, when he's from Berlin, then he's right. Oh. Uh, in the south of Germany, there's another school system. So um, it's not it's not a lie. <laughs> my, my Deutsch teacher was from uh, Transylvania, and she moved and to Austria. Okay. And then she went to a Saxon school when she was a kid, and she used to make fun of the American school system every class. <laughs> okay. So you kind of yeah. like the you kind of like the Simpsons. <laughs> It's one, two, three, four, five. Not one, two, three, four, uh, five. <laughs> she was funny. Yeah. But as you can tell, I only took one, one year. Once, yeah, one year, and that was a long time ago. But uh, so I, I know there's a fenster over there. That's the window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah your but travel I, is good. When I went to, yeah, she said, don't ever say this to anyone. It's rude. Be Gates. Be Gates. That's and not rude. That's, she says, unless, that's you, you speak? unless you know somebody real well, don't say that. Or unless you have a half hour to really listen to what <laughs> they have to say. Okay. Yeah, but Gates, Be Gates, that's. Like, that's hi. Say, How are you? She says, hi. we just say hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello, ich bin gut. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, a few years ago, I couldn't, uh, yeah, two years ago, I couldn't see my eyes bled from a stroke. I had a high blood pressure at 289 or 169, and I popped my eye, the blood vessels in my eyes, so they bled, so I couldn't see. Okay. Yeah, it was horrible. I learned how to do everything by feel. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. So here I am. That's the, that's the best thing we have, yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm darn glad to be here today. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Some force is trying to get me out of here. They're tired of me talking. <laughs> so that's, because I, I used to do like, voiceovers for movies and commercials and I sang and now my mouth feels like it, I got a sprained ankle in my mouth. People just always think, did you, did you just go to the dentist? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that's okay. It's how it is. You have to yeah. admit it. Like I said, yeah, I'm, I'm much better now. But uh, it's great meeting you guys. Yeah. Now, what kind of drums do you play? Sonar? Sorry? 
Do you play sonar drums? Um, it's a pearl. Oh, pearl drums. Most people I know in Germany play sonar. I, I don't know. Actually, it's a it's a drum set from a friend, an old friend, and um, yeah, he he do not use the drum set anymore. And now it's here in the basement. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. I have a yeah, I have a couple real cheap ones and uh, one that's that's small that I play every day. That's part of my exercise. <clears throat> okay. Twenty minutes playing funk stuff and you know music that just keeps going that doesn't have a lot of breaks. And I don't do double bass. I'm a yeah. single single leg guy. <laughs> it doesn't make sense double bass to me. <laughs> it does to ah. you. You could, you're great, <laughs> really great. I'm really impressed. Yeah, look look up Dean Castronovo. He plays with Journey now, but he played with. He was so much more intense. Like he could play like Neil Peart from Brush at age seventeen. Okay. And sing at the same time. Okay. He played drums and sing. Yeah. He, like he, like Phil Collins. Yeah. And in fact, he sang in Journey for when the singer left, he sang for about a year until he found a replacement. Uh, he said, I said, why don't you just push the drums in the front and tell them to pay you double? <laughs> and he said, no, it's too much work. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it's like workout. If you play drums, you know it. Yeah, you play half an hour intensive drums. It's like yeah. keeps your arms workout. going. Yeah. What's that poster on the back of wall behind the symbol? It's an old ACDC poster. I love ACDC. It's it's from I don't know. 81 or something. It's an old one. I saw ACDC for the first time in 1978. Okay. With Cheap Trek opening, and they were on the Hotter or the Highway to Hell tour. And they were cool. awesome. Yeah. Hey, they, they play in Germany right now. I've got a video of them playing some gigantic festival. Yes. I yeah. mean, stadiums. I can't imagine. It's too. Too many people. It's too big for us. It's, yeah. And we saw Iron Maiden two years ago. So I thought he had, it's it's important to see Iron Maiden. <laughs> so we went to the Iron Maiden show. It was the same. It was so huge and uh, uh, too big. Normally we prefer to go to, to small metal shows. I saw Nico McBrain play with Pat Travers. In okay. 1977, <laughs> the drummer for Iron okay. Maiden. Okay. <clears throat> That's uh, 1977. That's a long time ago. I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah. I'm 64. When, okay. I'm, when I get older, losing my hair, <laughs> I used to shave my head, but I let it grow during Corona and just okay. said, I'm not cutting it. Don't cut your hair. You'll lose your power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, sometimes it's, it's <laughs> it is how it is. But Again, turn the it, back time. You uh, get, yeah, you got in the way of my work. Well, I think yeah, we're about coming up on the time to stop. And yeah, thank you, Matt. It was no, really cool to talk to you. Thank you. I'll put your. It's acidbait.de. Yes. Okay. I'll put your website up so on the link, and I'll put this on YouTube and to my podcast host, and that'll go to like 12 people, 12 different places like Spotify and iTunes okay, cool. and YouTube. And nice to meet you, Phil. And nice to meet you, Dennis. Yes, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Matt. So have a good time. Now we go to bed. Okay. No, not now, but in one hour we have to go to bed and your day starting now. Yes, but 
it, mine started a couple hours ago. Uh, I've already rode the bike and played the drums, and now I'll go edit this thing and get it up there today. Okay, perfect. I don't like to waste time. Yeah, that's important. Keep rocking so, out and keep playing hard. You too, Matt. And See you. A, Bye. Ha, have a great luck with your new band members, and we'll talk in the future. Yeah, that would be cool. Thank okay. you, Matt. You're Bye-bye. welcome. Bye bye. Thank you. Bitte. Danke. Danke schön. Yeah.